Um, so here we have Tim's Splashdown, which is a semi-recreation, kind of. Um, Probably like 80% recreation, I'd say. Everything's basically just like I should say like uh, what was this? Everything's basically what it is in real life, just kind of oriented differently and kind of interpreted differently. Like this is just like a normal housing thing, I believe, and some of the roads are different. Like there aren't houses on the roads directly, and so stuff like that. There's no parking lot. I guess that's a parking lot. A lot of people for how small the parking lot is. Anyways, I said there's a thing, you know, if I see you could just turn off notifications, that'd be nice. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a showcase of. Tim's uh, hacking prowess, as much as it is that is park making. Um, not sure how he did all the hacks for the slides, but they're all like I don't know how to say it, but they're all done in a way that really that you don't need, you know, a lift. I guess I should say. To at least be seen. I don't know if they're underground or how that thing works, but it's in a really clever way, which is really cool. Um, maybe people can start using these slides more in, you know, full-scale parks. I do water parks and stuff. So that'd be really cool. Um, and, you know, like all the detail supports is really really nice I, I just say oh this does not have any supports at all Tim forgot supports on the slide fastball has no supports it's just floating maybe it's the way it is in red light but I highly doubt it um, but yeah like all of his construction for all like the slides and stuff is really really nice um, the, like complex itself is pretty pretty well done. Um, I really like that. This is probably my favorite part of the the bowl. It's probably the best one. I don't know if I've ever seen one that actually like doesn't look terrible. He hacked it really really well, so it looks pretty pretty nice. Um, But yeah, um, and he has like some picnic areas, and uh, this is like croquet. Is this croquet? Yeah. Um, he has a nice little kids' slot area. I don't know why the water is that color. That's kind of weird. Maybe it's like that in real life, but yeah, some solid, some solid park. I, mean, I, I could say anything bad about like the water park itself like the foliage is a little bit sparse i think you could do, do a little bit more like he has lots of open grass it kind of just looks bad i think um and i don't know it just feels like it needs like another layer of like detail and stuff like to make it feel complete so kind of i don't know feels a bit like unfinished um, I guess. But he has lots of cool hacks like this. I guess it's like a water balloon war thing, which is kind of cool. I guess the, too many peeps as well. I don't know how the hell he has so many peeps, but kind of distracting. I'm, I'm glad he got rid of the balloons, though, because balloons were terrible. But yeah, I got all the slides are really, really good. Um, kind of like the rest, I don't really know how I feel about the rest of the party. Like everything this is well made, like he has a baseball, it's like a, uh, what is this called? Oh my god. Pierpong thing is a live action role play thing, is like a 
playground skate park with like people skating in it or BMX BMXing in it, which is really cool. Let's take another like pool, which is really well done. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of feels like a little bit sparse. Like, I guess like he just has, I don't know. I think he could have put a little bit more time into some of the some of the more natural aspects, probably like the foliage and stuff, to make it look a little bit nicer. I don't know. I kind of like there's lots of just open space. I guess I know that's how it is in real life, but I don't know if it really works. Oh yeah, I should mention the frisbee thing as well, which is really really cool. And he has all these houses on the outside, which are all, I think some of them are guest spots. Which are all cool. What does this say? Kids Cliff? Ridge Cliff? Yeah, it kind of feels like a head-to-head -head park to me. I should, oh, I should mention the junk car, which is probably one of my favorite things on the outside. I think it really adds a lot of atmosphere. It's pretty cool. I should say I should mention the hacks. Like I'm not a fan of how he did this, where he just has him turn directly. Like I wish he would have kind of had him go to the edge of the map and come back, rather than just turn like right off the edge, because it kind of just looks bad. I'm glitching around like this, but it's kind of a minor thing. Yeah, I mean I my. Biggest thing is just kind of foliage, and I kind of feel like you could add a little bit more detail to the parks. It's not really like I don't feel like it's the kind of thing you can just kind of be minimalist about. It's just not really all that interesting to begin with. I mean, it's a water park; there's cool hacks, but I don't know. There's also cool details like in the architecture, but just I don't know. He could have because there's just some stuff missing that he could have put in to make it feel a bit more complete for me. Um, I think it's got a 74, which I guess, I think it's a little bit high, I think it's like right around a 70, I don't know if I would say it's a gold or a silver, or which I should, which it would be a gold or a silver, I think it's definitely on the border there, um, I mean if this is what people consider a gold park now, a 74%, then I don't know, I don't really feel like there's that much, like, Park here to really justify that much. I mean, there's lots of cool extra stuff, but I mean, I don't know if that really does anything for me at least. Uh, made me consider this park to be, you know, that high. It's about, I don't know. I do like all the hacks. I just wish you would have put them in something a little bit more interesting than like boring. Water park, tiny water park with like six slides, and that's it. But I mean, all the hacks are nice, so I mean, I uh, can't really complain. But 